Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And now you can get 15% off of your purchase using my promo code PATRIOT at checkout. So yes, 15% off your order using my code PATRIOT. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The feature bot in this video is 1987's Generation 1 Headmaster Chrome Dome. Now, Chrome Dome hitting the shelves in 1987 more or less guaranteed his appearance in the final season of the Transformers animated series called The Rebirth. Now, Chrome Dome was an Autobot stationed on Cybertron, but he and some fellow Autobots were accidentally sent to the planet Nebulos when the shuttle they were in was hit by plasma energy. And once they arrived on Nebulos, they befriended the Nebulons and went under the Headmaster process in order to fight the evil Hive and the Decepticons. Now, Chrome Dome really didn't appear much in the animated series other than one scene I remember where he shot Scourge in the butt. Must escape! Ah! They're demolishing us! Chrome Dome made his first appearance in the Marvel Comics series in the first issue of the Headmasters Limited series, where it was also shown that he was a Autobot still stationed on Cybertron, but this time he was under the command of Fortress Maximus. And instead of accidentally going to Nebulos, Fortress Maximus gathered up this team and went to Nebulos, thinking it was a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, the Decepticons followed, fighting ensued, and once again the Autobots went under the Headmaster process in order to fight the Decepticons. Now, I loved the Headmaster story in Marvel Comics so much better than the animated series, because the animated series, the headmasters just wore like exosuits that could turn into heads, and they were like in this giant control center, where in Marvel Comics, the headmasters were actually cyborgs, so I thought that was pretty cool. But back to Chrome Dome, he didn't appear much in the Marvel Comics series either, just a few shots here and there, and the last we saw of him, he was getting repaired, I think he was having his leg put on, after the battle with Unicron. So that's pretty much it with the history of Chrome Dome. Now let's take a look at this awesome Generation 1 figure. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now we'll start things off by looking at Chrome Dome's vehicle mode first. And his vehicle is some sort of Cybertronian armed car. And this thing looks awesome. The red, tan, and brown just work for this guy. And I love it, especially with the molded details all the way around. Got a few stickers on the vehicle that are showing their age. But other than that, looks really, really good. Nice chrome there for the rims and the vehicle. Man, it, it rolls across the desk. I love this. Let's give you another close look at all the details on this thing. I mean, you can't even tell it's a transformer. This vehicle mode is so good. Now, of course, the guns can come off the back. They just peg right into the top here, right there via those pegs. So you can go without the guns if you'd like. Now he does have this big translucent canopy here on the vehicle that can flip up. And lo and behold, you have his headmaster partner, Styler. And this is a really good looking headmaster with some pretty good paint applications. He's got the orange face, gray body, red arms and legs. And of course the back, that I forgot to flip up the panel, that of course hides the robot face. Now he's got the typical headmaster articulation 
the legs can go forward and the knees can bend. The arms can move forward as well, but I never fool with the old Headmaster arms because you've got a square arm that goes against that back plate and those pegs that hold those arms off can snap. So I'm not fooling with that at all. So that's pretty much it for Styler. Let's go ahead and get Chrome Dome transformed into his robot mode. Super simple transformation. What you're gonna do is pretty much split him in half. Just like so, you're gonna bring this whole front end up, bringing the canopy along with it. Fold the back end down, forming the feet. Stand him up, then rotate the arms down. And then of course, the next thing we're gonna do is attach Styler, transform him into the head. Just fold him up, flip this panel up. There's the face. Let's go ahead and pop the chest panel down so we can see those tech specs in action. And just plug in the head here at the top. And there we go. Chrome Dome has lots of intelligence, but medium speed and strength. So there you go. There is Chrome Dome in robot mode. And he's a pretty decent looking robot. I mean, typical generation one. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt. Once again, just like the headmaster, orange face with a gray head. I do wish the eyes were painted. I hate it when they do the whole single color face. A lot of the molded details do carry over from vehicle mode. There's nothing really special with the robot mode. No specific de details. Uh, from the back though, the side, he looks weird. That whole back piece area being very, very unfinished. Another thing is he really doesn't have molded in fists. His fist is pretty much just the hole right there that you put the weapon in. And you guys want to complain about gaps and waffles in figures now. They were doing it back in 1987. So let's go ahead and give, well, first off, let's go over the articulation, which is typical generation one. The arms can do a complete 360 and the toes can move. And that is it. He is a glorious generation one brick. And of course we can add the guns right here and the guns are exactly the same. You got these nice red guns, lots of molded details, and yes, lots of waffles. Place those in these hands, and there we have Generation 1 Chrome Dome, all armed and ready for battle. An awesome Generation 1 figure. He does have some uh, sticker issues right there. You got some peeling decals right there on the hips. So maybe we can fix that later on. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation 1 1987 Chrome Dome with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, fellow Generation 1 Headmaster Hardhead, and Titans Return Chrome Dome. 1987's Generation 1 Chrome Dome is another great Headmaster figure. He's got a good robot mode, an outstanding vehicle mode, and he's got lots of playability thanks to the Headmaster gimmick. Of course, he's not perfect. No Generation 1 figure is. He's got that big wonky backpack right there, and of course, the limited articulation. And as I said earlier, he does have some peeling decals, but thanks to Toy Hacks, I'll be fixing that really soon. So there you go, guys. 1987's Generation 1 Chrome Dome. So, does the 1987 Generation 1 Headmaster Chrome Dome belong in your collection? Well, I think this one is for the hardcore G1 collectors or fans of the Headmasters only, because really, there's not too many people that know about him, aside from the Rebirth, Marvel Comics fans, and fans of the Japanese series, where he played a much larger role. But still, he's a really fun figure, and I just absolutely love the Headmaster gimmick myself. So yeah, if you see him out and about on the shelf or at a toy store, pick him up. You may not be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo -ah!